This is Twit. Samsung has acquired the mobile payments company LoopPay, which is a competing platform to Apple Pay and Google Wallet. Jeffrey Fowler is a personal technology columnist for The Wall Street Journal and joins us now. Welcome to you, Jeffrey. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being here. Now, LoopPay's big difference is that it doesn't require NFC technology. How does LoopPay handle the point of sale without NFC? And does it also, in addition to that, support NFC? Right. Well, um, your first question is, it's a little bit magical, actually. Instead of putting out some kind of signal like NFC that uh, ret retailers have to build into their systems in the store, it actually just puts out a kind of magnetic pulse. Here, I've got, I've got an earlier version of... We're going to recall you uh, back, Jeffrey, if you can hear me now. Uh, Skype uh, is apparently out to get us. Uh, okay. as usual. So we're going to we're going to call you right back and hopefully the next connection will be good. What what he was showing us was the fact that Lupe has a, a, these cases. There are multiple ways to use it, actually, but it requires a case that essentially simulates uh, the credit card magnetic uh, swiping mechanism. And uh, and that uh, gives it a huge advantage over uh, over the uh, the other solutions that require NFC, which, of course, aren't supported at all retail locations. Jason, do we have uh, Jeffrey back? Okay, Jeffrey, welcome back. Now you were you were Hi. demonstrating for us uh, the uh, the device that you have that supports Loop Pay. Can you uh, continue, please? Sure. Yeah. So this is one of their latest cases that you can buy for about sixty bucks. It fits on a um, on an iPhone. This one, and what it does is it's got this little card on it that you can slip in or out, and you can use this to um, just hold up to this to the regular swipe magnetic card swipe reader on um, in the store that you're at and it uh, the payment will go through as if you're swiping now um, that's great because you can um, you can make payments with your phone in lots more places the downside to it right now is you kind of have to be an ambassador for this technology to the store I, when I've been trying this around town here in San Francisco um, got a lot of strange looks from um, from uh, storekeepers who, who think I'm kind of lurching forward maybe trying to rip them off or something <laughs> uh, so uh, so it's a little awkward, but you could imagine that if um, Samsung found a way to build this technology into their phone, so it didn't require you to carry something extra, and they also marketed the heck out of it in that very Samsung kind of way and made it feel kind of a little bit more normal to either hand over your phone or swipe it around the, um, the magnetic stripe area, uh, it, it might, uh, might do something. But Jeffrey, um, if this is reliant on magnetic stripe technology, we all know about all the sort of the lack of encryption of all the information yeah. that is on our magnetic stripes. So is this, uh, I, I'm imagining a lot of consumers are going to ask, is this less secure than NFC? Uh, well, definitely if you ask Apple, they would say that their NFC system is more secure for a number of reasons. One, um, every payment has to be authenticated uh, with Apple Pay with your thumbprint, right? And so they know that you're actually there. With Loop Pay, you have all of the same problems as uh, as a, you know, swiping your credit card and in many, in some cases, more. For example, um, this case that I have, um, it can also work if you slip this piece out and you can just uh, carry that around with you and uh, make a payment with it. But you have no way to know that it's actually Jeff Fowler making this payment. Uh, if somebody stole this from me, they could just buy something. The same problem with a regular credit card. So what it, it really, I mean, it feels in certain ways kind of like a stopgap, right? It's like taking the existing technology and bridging it to the phone, but it certainly isn't moving things forward in terms of security or privacy or some of these other questions. Do they have an exclusive kind of uh, patent or or is are they the only company that can do this kind of thing that can take advantage of the uh, of the normal credit card swiping uh, hardware that exists at point of sale systems? Um, or are there other companies out there that could pr presumably offer this similar kind of uh, technology to either Google or Apple or somebody else? That's a good question. Um, I've not seen any other companies taking this particular approach. Um, and, and honestly, this has been around for a couple of years now and it hasn't exactly caught on. Um, uh, so I don't know if they have, you know, they've locked up some IP on this. Um, the, 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 the problem for it until now has been that it's really not that convenient, right? You have to carry around extra technology, to carry around a case or, or a dongle, and you've got to, um, you've got to, uh, again, convince the storekeeper that you're not trying to rob them uh, by, by waving yeah. your phone around in front of them. So I think that's been sort of the bigger problem until now.